Hello Year 11 and welcome to our fifth video here for further graphs. We were looking at adding two functions together in our last video and today we're going to look at multiplying two functions together. Right, the product of two functions. So if this is the case, well, if I multiply, if I multiply anything by zero, I get zero, right? So that's going to be an important point to notice, right? If one of them is zero, then the product is zero. If one of them has a value and the ordinate is one, or right, a value of one, uh, then the product will be the one that isn't one, okay? One times something. If I multiply positive by a negative, I get a negative. If I multiply two negatives together, I get a positive. Two positives together, I get a positive. Right here. That should uh, just about. Uh, that'll do. Yep, that'll just about do. I think they're the basic sort of rules we're going to follow. Let's have a look here. I have this time uh, exponential to k, y equals 2 to the negative x, right? You can see that has a y intercept of 1 uh, and an asymptote here, which is the x-axis. And also my very simple y equals x. So I want to multiply these together. Now, oh, I said where one of them is 1, it'll be the other. Yeah, it is. So 0 times 1 is 0. So I'm going to pass through that point. Uh, 1 times whatever this is, right? There's a 1, right? This, the value of this function equals 1, so when that's 1, right, it's going to pass through that point there as well. So I've got two points now. In fact, I think I've done little dots here. Here, here we go. So, uh, where one of those has a root, the product will have a root. Uh, where one of them is equal to 1, the product will be the value of the other function. Now, up here, we can see my red line. My linear function is equal to 2. My exponential is looks to be less than half. So that would imply that I'm going to be uh, a half times 2 would be 1. So it's maybe a quarter. Maybe it's a quarter times 2 equals a half, somewhere down here. Now, there's a bit of a question here. It becomes a bit, a bit of a challenge. My linear function will continue indefinitely, right? Approaches infinity, whereas my exponential decay approaches zero. Now, a very small number multiplied by a very big number is not always easy. Uh, I think for this, for the purposes of this, you'll have to take it from me that the exponential gets smaller, faster than my linear gets bigger. Okay. So even here at four, well, two to the power of negative four is one over sixteen, whereas uh, whereas I just have a 4 here, 4 times 1 16th would be a quarter. Hmm. So it should be down here somewhere, um, that it's shrinking away. So, in fact, what we will see is that this function is going to approach the x-axis. Uh, but we'll get a fair idea of the curve here. Now, down here on the negative side, now anywhere left of 0, my linear function is negative, but my uh, exponential is positive. So I get a positive times a negative, so I'm going to be negative down here. Negative 1, right? Negative 1 times negative 2, so I should go through a point down here. There we go, just there. So now we've got, probably got enough dots to put a curve in there, and we get a graph that looks like this. I'm just going to get rid of those dots. And there we go, that is x times 2 to the negative x. Something like it. A bit scruffy, but not too bad. Okay, that's it for the product. Uh, just a couple of rules to keep in mind there. When I multiply something by zero, I get zero. When I multiply something by one, I uh, I get what I started with. When I multiply a positive by a negative, I get a negative. When I multiply two e similar signs, I get a positive. Right, that's all. Uh, next up, inequalities. There's a, quite a lot to this. Uh, in fact, it's two parts. So hang in there. It's very exciting. I will see you for our next video. Thank you.